hey 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 welcome back let's make with me some gunga peas and rice and for jamaicans not sure if it's only jamaicans we always cook gungo peas and rice for christmas here i have my gungo i will go ahead and wash them yes they're dirty because as much as you see them looking all clean they are dirty look at the water now look at my peas all clean and shiny like i put some coconut oil on them right <laughs> but now let's add my gunga peas in my pot of water but i add three cloves of garlic now leave it to boil for 10 minutes and my mom would say the gunga ready until the water brown I guess this is what she's talking about. <laughs> After 10 minutes, I will now add some more hot water to my pot. Just enough for the rice that I'm going to put in my pot. You can also check your gunga peas to see if they are ready by taking up few and just squeeze them to see if they are soft and ready. my pot i add two cups of coconut milk i will now add a little salt to taste and also a little sugar it is optional because i have person asking me if i put sugar in my rice and peas but you don't have to put sugar in your rice and peas but i choose to it is optional as i said before now it's time to flavor my pot Once I add all my seasonings, I now leave my pot to boil for 5 minutes. Don't be afraid to taste your water because you need to know if it needs some more salt, some sugar or something. So make sure you taste your water after adding my butter i will now add my rice and my rice is washed and if you realize i translate to a fork guys i do not want to see anyone use a spoon in their rice okay no spoon in your rice huh? and no too much water is not in my rice because i do not like my gungo rice too shelly so i will leave this to boil on high flame Once most of my water is used from my pot, I will turn my stove on low flame. I now cover my rice with a piece of foil paper and I will leave it there to steam for 10 to 15 minutes. 